witch's hats, a cookie cutter or anything for it, so it's going to be all freehand. Okay, we're just going to eyeball this to a point. I can just make like a triangle, right? Second, let's get this. Try and make it so that's like this. See what I mean? Just give it a little bit of more shape. There we go. There's one hat. Now I want to put some some sort of decoration on here. Because I want I'm trying to do it so it'll match this sign, right? So, so I'm not gonna put this guy here. So I want to kind of scrunch it like this. It's a cool thing about air dry clay, foam clay, is that you can maneuver it whatever shape you want. So there's the other hat. Oops. There's the other hat. So you got that one, and we got this one. Okay. Try and make a little kitty cat. So with the, there we go, I got it tucked in. There's just little lot. I'll cut this in half. Make the tail. Let's make his tail and then his ears. Now we need to make the ears. Ears are on. Okay. So there's there's what he the little kitty cat looks like now. Hey okay, guys, I've decided to take pieces of this grapevine um, nest and use that for the for the uh, whiskers. I don't know if that's how it should be, but that's what I'm doing. Oh, smaller one. Okay, so I'll put this one. Go right. Hey. Hey, it's just...
we go. He got he got his whiskers just to cover to help with the mouth because it's like looking funny. There we go. Here's the little kitty. I'm gonna make it a, a little pumpkin to go on it. Okay, I just made a little pumpkin for the little kitty cat to hold. Yeah, gotta turn it. There we go. He is holding his little pumpkin. He's so cute. He's so cute. And three. Turn it. Let's get. Okay. Now. That's three. We're going to try and make three tops. There. So there's my lids. Perfect. I'm going to tuck them to the back like that. Okay. That's how he looks. Do so I'm going to try and have it so that it goes like that. There we go. What do you think? Does it look like a buckle? I'm just trying to make oh, I don't know if you can see it I was going to put a mouth on them, but I don't know. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's see. Um, let 
So what do you think? Okay, so there's one. Now let's do this one. I want to try different colors just to see. There's the other one. Number three. Number four. Number four is going to be a lot lighter because it's a pink one, right? Pink eyes. Pink eyes. Now the pumpkin, I don't know if I can, if it'll stay on. I wanted to do a little bit of shading. I just cracked it. I just cracked it. going to do something different. Now this is a couple years ago. I never got around to doing it because, you know, life happens. So what I'm doing is this is the last little ring um, cross stitch thing I have. So we're attaching it to the frame of, to the, to the heart shape. Actually, hang on here. Gotta get this in here. There we go. So, I got it attached right here so that the heart, where the heart meets, this is kind of like to the side. And then, I'm only putting four. And it should be, it should hold it. Ok, 
okay so I put the thicker I have these guys they're thicker than the other ones because I want to keep the other ones for my mesh like to put the mesh on so um, It's gonna go there. So we're gonna get this kind of on like that. We're gonna take a piece of this, a piece of this. So these ones are gonna go. Again, if you had little elastics, you could um, put a little elastic on there and it'd be a lot easier to get it in. Like, to zap strap it to the rest of the thing. So, and I don't have any, so. Again, just put it in there like that. I wanna keep this to come out this way more. These very orange and white and that, that came off of one of the, um, the other, um, okay things that I had that had fall colors, and I saved them. So I thought, well, I'll be able to use that for something else. So there, so now I'm just going to do that. So now, I need some more zip ties. What I'm trying to do is go down, oh it's too big, down to keep going, so this is going, so the next one will be down here, again, I want to put it, these in now so I can get them even. So, 
we do have there's one more another one so we have enough for four more petals of the berries so let's move these out of the way here okay i need to get one two more of those that makes four break it in break it down and break it down I'll show you how to do it this one's good so you see where well you got that space there you do it at an angle like this and then that's your stem and then that's your tip right so any anything that you want to break it down always try and do it so that you got one piece that will come up like this so you can do it at an angle see because then you got your stem okay let's get the petals done so these this my some of my designs you guys just so you guys know I just I, I do my own I do my own thing right I try things to, to do things a little different maybe keep it a little bit more unique right it went off on me again I wasn't paying attention okay oh wrong pedal <laughs> oh you guys I got up at four o'clock this morning, so okay. So now I'll slide this guy in. Right. See how, see how it hangs a little bit longer? That's okay. That's what I want. So now let's build the other one. So we got this guy. Then we got this guy. Right? I'm going to try and put it in this time and see if it'll work. No. So we'll just put it like that. And then you get your... eucalyptus branch you can put how much you do whatever you want whatever you got for florals use your imagination like like my youtube channel let your creativity shine you guys I got some ghost drying up and stuff for the design and I'm hoping to fit in here. So there's that one. Okay, and then you just bring these together, right? They'll spread out because of the what you got on it. There we go. So now do the other one. Okay, 
seems to be a little higher so I'm going to try and keep that down so I'm going to trim this part off so I think it'll be easier I'm going to do this okay then we take this guy Let's see if we can get it in there and then I'll adjust it. Try and put it as tight as it can, especially when I add stuff like that in there. See what I mean? Okay, so the next ones are going to come right here. There's going to be two more, but I'm going to have them a little lower. So, I'm going to have it one that goes, starts right there. Even as possible. So right there. And then right there. Okay. So I'm just going to do this so that I don't have to do it when I have the pedal ready. Take this guy. Take this guy. Okay, let's get the two pedals. Try something here. See if I can get him on there. There we go. That works. And then these guys. See if we can get this on there. Come on, you. Let's get back over here. a little off but 
that's okay. I'm gonna trim him up. I'm trying to get this ready so that Slide this guy on there. Yeah, so these T's are on there. And then these, I'll trim this off. Okay, so now we got to put one more. Steady's go. We got to put one more right in the middle here. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, let's see how it looks. So the reason why, see, we got that space there. We have pumpkins. We have pumpkins that we're gonna put on here. So there's this. There's this guy. But I also got a kitty cat. See this kitty cat? He's gonna go in here. So I might place him in the pumpkin and then put the pumpkin here, like this, with the other pumpkins. But we gotta let these guys dry. For a little bit. Because I also got the hat. That's why I wanted to, I was hoping to put the big hat on here, but I know we might still be able to, right? We do, this is where I wanted it, was at the top. You have that there, and then you got the little one. The little one was going to be kind of like maybe in here. So let these guys dry, and then we got the ghosts. This is the ghosts. We gotta decorate them. But I was gonna put them in, right? So I changed. I'm changing it up the top here. I didn't. It didn't look right. So we're gonna put these petals all the way. Hopefully, I have enough. So I like fold it. Fold it. I'm making these a little bit wider because I only have six pieces. Right? And then what we're gonna do, see because then it'll cover it, right? Because then I can put the sign up a little higher. So, before we tighten it, too tight, this is what I'm thinking of doing. Just taking some greenery and putting it at the top. Kind of. Like 
that. And then I'm going to take this ribbon. It's not wired. And I'm just going to put it in here like this. And hopefully, it, when the sign's on, it'll look all right. I'm going to use the greenery. Oh, now i got to redo this. I just gathered it. See now this is so small, I don't know if I'm going to get it all in there. Hang on. Let's see if we can get it in there. Because I think this is almost tightened up. down so I can get this guy in. Like that. There we go. And this guy. Now we can tighten it. I'll trim that after. And so then we get this guy in. And this guy in. only have so many zip ties like the small ones so that's why I decided to do that pedal I might have to use a big one and put something for there in the middle
I changed my mind on that ribbon. Okay. And then if I need to add the greenery into onto these, I'll just glue it in separately. Um, once I get the sign in, because it'll it'll work out better that way. This guy here is not quite, he's the end piece, so he's not quite 10, 10 inches, so let's see what we can do with him. It might, it might seem a little smaller compared to the other ones, so we'll put him here. Okay. something for here. Okay. 
This one I want to tuck in kind of like with the Okay, let's see how it looks with the sign over top of it. There we go. I got all this mesh there, so there we go. There we go. That works. Put that under there. Okay, so there we go. We got that. And then, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get. So we got this like this, right? So the pumpkin's gonna go right here. Pumpkin's gonna sit right about here. So, or, so maybe we can put the hat. But I get the sign on and then we'll figure that out. Cause I do have a couple other pumpkins too, that we can put in here as well. Okay, so let's get the sign on do this I'm trying to set, I try and get it so it's centered and then I just twist to put okay so now we want to get just poke it through the holes I've got it so it's a little higher up than so you'll see here in a second. Let's see. Hang on. And I'm not cutting it off yet, just in case. Okay. So you can see how it looks. So I'm going to hang it up and then I'm going to figure out, right, add the greenery in and then add these in. Do, if we put this on the side, so if we take, say we take one of these, Just trim them smaller. Yeah, and it goes, you don't want to be in that house, do you? I don't want to be part of that, Henry. Okay. 
What do you think of that? And then we can put one here. On this one, I think we're just gonna kind of put a little bit of glue on the side. I just glue them on the side. See, like that. So we could have one that faces this way, one that faces that way, and then the other one, kitty one, in the middle. Okay, I think I got it figured out. I'm gonna need two of these. Okay, so we're gonna get the greenery in first. I'm gonna move these guys back over here. Those are for those. Tidying up, you guys. <gasps> I'm gonna put these in here. That one can go in here too. Put this back here. Okay. Let's get the rest of the greenery in. I'm just gonna fill where I think needs it. Okay, I'm going to pause. I'll be back. There, I filled it in with greenery. So now, we're going to try and get... First thing we're going to get in here is the little guy. Get him in there. Okay. I'm going to squeeze him through. Like that. And I might put a little bit of glue on there. Okay. And then we're going to put this guy in through here on the on the bow. Gonna have him at an angle like that. I'll have to do all that up here. Okay. I don't know if he's going to stay. I've got to put a little bit of glue. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. So that it'll stay. 
Okay. Now, these other guys. I'm trying to think which way I want to. I think we're going to put one. Hmm. Maybe we'll put them on the outside. If I go like this. hard to do because one is a little smaller so I'm trying to figure out which way I want to put them. Actually you know what? Uh, slide that <gasps> and then this guy fell out. These guys weren't glued in. Okay. Get in there, guy. Because I'm thinking he's going to sit mostly on the sign. How does that look? This guy looks like he's going to fall. There we go. Okay. Now, the fun part is the ghosts. Put one at the top.
Okay. I got an extra one. Hmm. Let's get these guys. Let's get these guys all up. So, other option is we could put a ghost coming out. On the side here. Right here, maybe. Let's see. Like that, and then have the hat coming out this way, and then just to make it a little bit better, get back up there. You, I want you to stay there, stay there, okay? Stacking, stay there. And Here's what I, I figure, because I have one. Where did it go? Here it is. We're going to put this little white pumpkin right there in the middle. Okay, I think he is done. So, let's get this out of here. Okay, he's done. So I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. This one's finished. I'm gonna start editing the video and uh, get this ready to go out this week. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching and let your creativity shine and we will see you on the next one. Amazing, incredible, outstanding, amazing. Thank you.